Hi, I'm Allison, and I'm an illustrator and printmaker here in Pittsburgh. And I'm Craig, and I'm also an illustrator um, and not so much of a printmaker here in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and we are Strawberry Luna. We are. Our studio has been around since 2004, and we've worked on a lot of different projects in that time. Everything from rock posters to corporate identities, uh, album covers, book jackets. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff in, in that time. So Strawberry Luna actually started as a bit of an accident. Um, I was screen printing at air on the side and that was really just um, a hobby which I was becoming more and more in love with. And as I kept printing more, I was also really hating my full-time HR job a lot and ended up kind of quitting in a really extremely stressful day. Um, fully intended to get a real job again and never did. Well, originally, uh, it took up a lot of our house, <laughs> maybe too much of our house. And uh, we lived so, in a lot smaller house. <laughs> so uh, Allison started to rent a studio space. And it was great, I loved it. Um, but that studio space kind of became more and more expensive. We started looking for live workspaces, and we probably looked for about two years, I would say. Yeah, this house, I think, found us more than. Uh, we found it. Yeah. Uh, it was not what we were looking for. Almost on a lark, we ended up looking at this house. I think if you ask anybody that knows me, um, the words handy don't <laughs> come to mind. Um, so owning a, uh, a Victorian home that's 130 some years old is um, probably the cruelest joke I've ever <laughs> played on myself. But um, but it works for us. It's got a wonderful living space and uh, a fantastic third floor that serves as um, Strawberry Luna's uh, headquarters. Yeah, 80% of the studio is there. The other 20 is in the scary basement. <laughs> a typical day for Strawberry Luna is a bit of a balance between the creative things, carving out time to do new sketches or work on prints in progress and pieces in progress versus um, really boring things like accounting, to be honest, and uh, replying to emails. A lot of the things that a lot of people do, you know, just in their regular business daytime lives, as well as printing and making new artwork. So it's, it's really kind of every day is a, a different experience. The best part of running Strawberry Luna is the freedom. The worst part of running Strawberry Luna is also the freedom. And uh, a lot of that pressure is from, I make all of the decisions all the time, every day. Well, not all of them. <laughs> do you want to talk about screen printing? I don't do any screen printing, so <laughs> I don't true. want to talk about it. Screen printing is, to me, such like an incredibly fun, weird uh, art form. Um, it is more complex than it needs to be in the modern world, but that's precisely why I love it. It is slow, it is messy, um, it's very tactile, and you need to follow a very specific set of steps in the exact right order. Each one of those steps offers an opportunity to mess up and go back to go and start all over again. I think a lot of our inspirations come from the natural world. Um, just spending time in nature, taking a dog walk, kind of spending a lot of time in trees and um, in parks really kind of helps for me inform um, colors and textures and things that I'm interested in trying to capture in a, uh, in a print. Same. I also look towards nature for a lot of the inspiration. I think simplicity is way harder than people give it credit for. The, the way that we work together, I, I think is probably pretty unique. Um, there's really a lot of shared um, sketching. Um, we'll start usually over dinner uh, and kind of talk uh, about the project or if it's for a client um, and just kind of, you know, um, evolve it uh, as we're talking. So really bad thumbnail sketches are kind of at the heart of every design that we do. It's <laughs> like true. really bad. Yeah. <laughs> And I think it's really nice to have two brains attack a problem. 
um, and had sort of like two different perspectives on the same the same project. And a lot of times our pieces end up being pretty well a mix of the both, or at least, you know, I'll be able to work on something and Craig will come in and make a change, or vice versa. It's additive uh, process that we, we do. Um, but it also works. Right, add more um, clouds. Add more clouds, I get that a lot. Doing art shows is something that I really, really love and something that I really enjoy. Um, they are so much work, but they're really wonderful opportunities to meet people who love your artwork, to meet customers. It is a very large part of my business in a typical year. I would say probably 50% of my income comes from doing shows. So in a year like 2020 with uh, COVID and not being able to do in-person shows, it's definitely a very different experience. Um, kind of trying to, to juggle and missing those opportunities, not just financially, but missing those opportunities, you know, emotionally and, and getting to connect with people. It's been tough. Getting to uh, be a full-time artist, be a professional artist, is something that um, I'm so grateful for and I feel so incredibly lucky that this is my job. <laughs> and it becomes something that, when I really take a second to just think about it, I'm so grateful, I have so much gratitude for how lucky we are that we get to make things for a living. We get to make things that make people happy and really that's ultimately what we want to do with our artwork. Um, it's just, it's miraculous. There's enough darkness and hard stuff in the world. We just want to make work and make things that make people happy. And hopefully we do.